Look at what we made, you guys. Just look at this. Garlic chili bok choy. Absolutely delicious. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. Hi, it's Grandma Roseanne, and we are going to kick up that bok choy. Bok choy is a wonderful vegetable, and we use it a lot in stir fry. I use it in my ramen but we are going to use it as an absolutely beautiful side dish to serve with any meal. So I'm going to be making bok choy with a chili garlic sauce. Absolutely fabulous. So what I have started out here with are the baby bok choys, and I've got eight of them. I just cut them in half, rinsed them out really good because they're a lot like leeks. You know, they want to hold on to that dirt. And then I just left them there for a second. Now, here I have uh, four teaspoons of olive oil. And to that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of minced garlic. I always do mine in bulk and ahead. Makes life so much nicer. And it stays in your refrigerator wonderfully well and it freezes well. We're just going to uh, mix this up and then we're going to set it aside. It's such a good way to serve a vegetable a different way. Now it's really important on a lot of these dishes that you have this prepared ahead of time because it the cooking goes so fast. So here we have some soy sauce, one tablespoon of soy, And here I have purchased the chili, chili garlic sauce. I've tried to make it a, <laughs> a couple of times. I have failed miserably. So I'm just buying it now. I don't know why it's so hard, but it is. So I guess if you guys have a good recipe, send it over. Ooh, that smells good. One teaspoon of sugar, one half teaspoon of cornstarch, and you know that's our thickening agent. Because you're so smart, you already know all that stuff. We're going to mix this up good. Oh my goodness, it is fragrant. Whoa! And we're going to set that aside. In my pan, I have a nonstick skillet and it has enough base on the bottom that all my bok choy will sit on in there very comfortably. I just put in two tablespoons of water and we're going to let that come up to a simmer. It works so much better if you turn the heat on. Honestly. Don't you love it when you find these recipes that are so quick, so simple. Most of the ingredients you have in your in your pantry and um, it just kicks up the flavor it turns a very mundane vegetable into something very unique and satisfying we want the water just to start to shimmer a little bit okay it's starting to smoke a bit so we're going to put in our baby bok choy Now we will cover it and we're going to time it for two minutes. While it is doing its thing here, we need to shake it a little bit. I'm so much better with my right hand than my left. Oh. Our two minutes is up. So we are going to push the bok choy to the side and then mix up the garlic again and oil and put it right into the middle. And you're going to let that cook until you smell it, until it's fragrant, which is gonna be like maybe 30 seconds. I had a friend come, it's just starting to smell fragrant. I had a friend come 
to dinner one time and she said, oh, I, I don't eat onions or garlic and, and, I, and I'm very sensitive to salt. I thought, you cannot eat at my house. All right, now we wanna mix that all together so that our bok choy is coated. And we just cook this now until the water is completely evaporated. Just a couple of minutes. And now we want to incorporate our soy mixture. sure that every little baby bok choy gets its share of that wonderful mixture. I am getting every bit of sauce out of this pan. That sauce is outrageous sauce is so good you guys well here we are we're plated and if it tastes half as good as it looks and smells we have a winner on our hands so I'm going in right now chili got there but I love it it's so good you guys I hope you try it and um, if you're a little sensitive to chili I am but this isn't too much this is just like right to the edge for me but oh my goodness come back whenever you feel like you'd like to join me in the kitchen um, hit the subscribe button hit the um, thumbs up because that helps me hit the bell so you'll know when I'm on my way back to you Thank you so much. You have a wonderful rest of your day.